Hey guys, this is a, a brown bag to discuss um, Wireshark RFE 3444. Um, essentially, this RFE, what it does is it allows uh, a customer to essentially take a trace, um, use their private key to decrypt that trace, and then pull out session keys uh, for that particular trace and send those uh, those session keys along with the trace itself uh, to TAC, and then TAC could uh, use those session keys and the trace uh, to decrypt the trace on, on our end. The purpose of it is, you know, for security conscious customers uh, who do not want to hand out their private key. This gives them a method, um, you know, to allow the vendor, us, uh, to decrypt the trace without actually giving out their private key. If they just give us the session keys, um, we would only have the ability to decrypt that specific session, that specific trace that they gave us, and, you know, nothing else. This is the procedure uh, on how it's done. Um, essentially, you know, the customer, kind of like what I just said, uh, opened up the capture file on his computer and used the private key from the server to decrypt uh, the capture using Wireshark. Um, then the customer could then export all the session keys used in that capture um, and put it into a text file. And then he could send us the capture file along with session keys. Um, and then we'll, you know, obviously then when we get it, we can use those session keys to decrypt. And, you know, this is, this is for cases where, you know, we're capturing data between the SFE and the server, uh, and it's encrypted with SSL, and we need to get at that HTTP data within the SSL, you know, for debugging purposes. Um, so, you know, sure how this is done, I just built a little lab. Um, kind of a virtual lab that I have. Here are the simple parameters. Here's a little bit more details on it. I uh, use an Ubuntu server with uh, a little Apache on it, uh, open up cell, how to create the search, and find the search, and all that. Uh, and then uh, Windows host and Firefox. Um, and this is just some reading material that um, you know I found useful while putting this all together. Um, and this right here is what this. This guy I have down here uh, is a link to, on Tweaky, uh, which will contain, you know, this uh, PowerPoint, the traces that I'm going to use, the session key that I'm going to use, and the server key that I'm going to use. So if anybody wants to, they could you know, go to the site, download all that, and then run through this, uh, you know, what I'm about to do yourself. Okay. So let's get started. All right, so first you need to, or, you know, the customer will need to download the private key. Uh, like I said before, I put Apache together, um, and, you know, the server, the private key is loaded on my Apache server um, in this directory right here. Now, you could, it's pretty customizable, you know, so wherever, you just have to have the customer find it. You know, it's probably, he'll know where to get it. Um, and I already took it free, um, but essentially you're going to be going to, or my lab, at least, you're going to be going to this website, right? The mywebsite.com, and you know, it's a full page that says it works. So that's essentially what this capture is, it's just opening up that page. Uh, a couple things to point out. Um, number one, you, you know, you'll need the full handshake in order to get the session keys. Um, if we actually look in the client, hello, we can see that there is no session key right now. And you can also see, you know, the list of ciphers that the client presents over to the server. If we go to the server hello, we can see that he does send, the server does send uh, my browser session key. Uh, and then he also chooses the cipher suite, you know, out of the ones that were presented to him. And in this case, he's choosing RSA. Okay. So, you know, he goes on to exchange the certificate. Uh, and then the client uh, will send a uh, pre-shared secret over, pre-master secret over to the uh, to the server, and that's important because when we call out the session keys, uh, you won't see the pre-master secret, but you'll see the master secret, which is derived from this pre-master secret. Uh, and you see that uh, they 
change cycles if you turn on encryption, and then the server does the same and they encrypt the data. So we will decrypt the data with private key. Now you do that you just protocol that will sell. And it's gonna put it in a couple of parameters here. So this is the port that's being used in the connection, obviously, and then this is the protocol that's being, you know, wrapped in SSL. And in my case, this F case is HTTP. And I'll go to my right. And then as you can see in the background, uh, the data has been uh, decrypted. And we can, you know, look real quick, and we can just see, you know, it works, right? From the website, so we know that it's encrypted. So now let's pull out the session key. So for that, you just go to File, Export Session Keys, launch this top. Ship one. And now, if we look. We can see the session ID that we pulled out, right? And that's exactly, if you just see 07B here, that's exactly what the server sent over. That's what we're pulling out. And the second part of this file is going to be this master key, which is basically the shared secret that they choose. Um, and that here, again, this isn't going to match this pre, pre master secret, um, but this, you know, and some other things is basically what, you know, how this is created. All right. So let's pull the key out. Well, the upper on trace. And that will decrypt with the session key instead of the private key. So the same place, and they actually have a spot for your here, pre master secret lock file. That's where you'll put your session key. And there you go. You can see that it's uh, decrypted. Um, I guess one of the things that um, was you know, worth noting here was if I, the server will hold on. Like, so if I were to run this again here, let me start up a capture. So this will, this will be a live one. And let me just go in here and I'm just going to refresh. And we could see yeah, you see the server. Let me stop this. In this case, so you can see that the client hello has a session ID already. So it's not the same one from before because I, you know, I opened and closed the browser several times. But, but the point I'm trying to make is, you could see now that he's using the session key, and you know now you don't have to exchange the certificate anymore, right? They're they're basically picking up. When he sends that session key over to the server, the server will, as long as he still has it in the Apache case, it, it, I think it kept it for five minutes. It was like a, a controllable variable. And it, well, anyways, if he has that session key, then he could, you know, pick up that pre-master secret and they could just continue right from there. They don't have to negotiate, you know, all the ciphers and all that all over again. Saves on round trips. And uh, that's Pretty much it. We'll have for this uh, this guy. If, uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, please just email me, um, and uh, you know I'll try to get back to you when know, time permits. Okay, thank you.